Today we are taking questions from our Ask a Lawyer, which is on dadsdivorce.com. We have several questions that have been submitted to us, and we're going to try to get through most of them the best that we can with the time that has been allotted for us. We're going to move right into the questions. The first one states that the child support that has been given to mom for the two children is not being used on the children, but it's being used to buy big screen TVs, to pay for personal items of mom. And according to this uh, question, basically, that the money that, has, that is being paid to mom for the benefit of the minor children is in actuality not benefiting the minor children. And the, this particular individual wants to know what can be done. Well, there are several things that can be done depending upon what jurisdiction you're in. And we're going to take this question and we're going to transfer it over to the state of Missouri. So for the, if you're in the jurisdiction of the state of Missouri, what you're going to want to do is file a motion with the court to either terminate the child support or to modify the child support. And the premise for that particular motion will be the fact that the money that has either been agreed to or ordered by the court for the payment of child support for the minor children is not actually benefiting the minor children. Mom is merely using this as supplemental income, which by the way is uh, not taxed to mom. So she's getting additional monies that she's not using to benefit the children. And in the motions that you will file with the court, what you're going to want to allege is the fact that this particular amount of child support has been ordered by the court. Here are the, the ages and the dates of birth, the names of the minor children. Here's uh, the payment history of the child support, and here is what, upon information and belief, this is what the child support is being used for. <clears throat> and then you'll want to have mom served with that motion, and then she'll have 30 days to either file an answer, and then you'll want to get a court date set. You don't want this thing to stay within the docket system of the court. This is a matter that should be heard expeditiously. And so what you'll want to do is set a court date, roughly maybe if you depending upon the judge's docket, 45 to 60 days from the date that mom was served. And a lot of times, mom being served with the actual motion, uh, there can be negotiations to take place, so neither party will incur additional litigation costs and attorney's fees to present this to the court. And what can be done in the actual negotiation is uh, we can either stipulate that mom will uh, start providing receipts pursuant to the Missouri statute in which if one party believes that another party is not using the child support for the proper purposes, in this case for the benefit of the minor children, then that parent who is receiving the child support will be ordered to provide proof, basically, of what the actual, actual child support is being um, used for. So in this case, provide receipts to the parent paying the child support. If that cannot be worked out, then the only other remedy is to seek judicial intervention, and that would be to um, f uh, have the actual motion that you filed with the court called up and present evidence to the judge that you believe that the child support that was ordered is not actually being paid for uh, the benefit of the minor children. And then the judge has several remedies in which he or she can uh, offer to the parties or order by the court which would amend the actual child support order which would either be to terminate, to reduce, make mom actually provide proof of what the child support is being used for which is what I indicated earlier which would be to actually provide receipts to the parent who is paying the child support. Or the court could keep the child support the same and order a, a judgment or a credit for what evidence has been presented that the child support was actually used to buy big screen TV or whatever else it was used for, which would not benefit uh, the party's minor children. So hopefully uh, the actual filing of the motion will uh, help facilitate some type of settlement negotiations so you can get back on track so the child support will go for the benefit of your children. Now another remedy which you can do is depend upon really what the actual child support payments are being used for by mom is to file for a change of custody because if mom is not spending the child support on the children but on herself then that may go to her ability to parent and then you can ask for the court to um, do a change of custody. So there's several avenues in which you can pursue and several motions which you'll want to file dependent upon what the actual current situation is. Now if you do believe that the child support that is ordered by the court that is being paid to mom is not being used 
for the benefit of the minor children, then you, I would advise to start uh, keeping a journal of what you think that the money's going to, uh, if there's any witnesses or people that you can talk to that maybe have spoken with mom to where she has somehow indicated that she's using this child support for the benefit of herself and not for the benefit of the party's minor children. Because then you'll want to use those witnesses to come forward in court and to testify on your behalf. Or you may want to take their deposition and use their deposition at court or at a hearing. So based upon really what the situation is, you may even want to take a step further. And if there's no uh, facilitation towards settlement based upon the actual filing of the motion, then you'll want to start subpoenaing mom's bank accounts, credit card records. And basically what you're going to want to do is do some type of a tracing to where you can trace where the money is coming in and going out. And it's also you're going to want to get a copy of mom's uh, paycheck if she's working to see exactly what she's making what monies are coming in, what monies are going out, what's being bought, and what's being bought for the actual children. Another avenue would be to actually get the children involved, which is one of the last resorts, to see, depending upon, one, their age, if they can uh, testify as to if mom has said anything to them that she's just using dad's child support money for uh, the benefit of herself or to buy things that really aren't re uh, going to help benefit the actual children. And if that's going to be the case, what you're going to want to do is get another lawyer involved who will be the guardian ad litem or GAL. And in that particular case, he or she will represent the interest of the children only. And a guardian ad litem is an attorney licensed to practice, uh, since we're using the state of Missouri, would be an attorney who is licensed to practice in the state of Missouri and who is basically the eyes and the ears of the court. And then they'll make a recommendation to the court is based upon after interviewing you interviewing mom, any potential witnesses that you would like the guardian ad litem to interview, and then recommend to the court what he or she thinks should be the proper course of action. Now, just because, I want to put this caveat out there, just because there's an actual recommendation by the guardian ad litem, that doesn't automatically mean that the court's going to uh, basically rubber stamp the recommendation or um, order what the guardian recommends, but it is taken into consideration and it is given substantial weight. So those are some of the remedies that I would recommend um, pursuing or at least thinking about so we can get back on track to the actual, um, really what is the big picture is the best interest of the minor children in this particular case to make sure that the minor children's needs are being met and those needs are being met through um, the child support that is being paid to mom. Another question that was submitted on our website, dashdivorce.com under Ask a Lawyer is that this particular person left his wife for another woman and is trying to be civil with his soon-to-be ex-wife and trying to see his uh, minor children. She is withholding visitation from the minor children unless there is someone at his house that can be there with them while he is having the visitation with his children. Now there's nothing that's mentioned in this particular question that states that there is either a need for or that there's been an order by the court for supervised visitation. So we're going to take this a step further in a moment, but let's backtrack and just look at actually what was submitted on the question here. And there was, since there's nothing that is indicative of supervised visitation, then mom doesn't have the authority to order supervised visitation. She cannot play court and judge in this particular case. And if she is wrongfully withholding the children from you without a court order indicating that there must be supervised visitation, then she is not positioning herself in the eyes of the court to be a proper parent. Because what the court's going to do, the court's going to take into consideration numerous factors, all of them being really what is in the best interest of the minor children. And in Missouri, uh, the courts tend to award custody to the parent who will uh, encourage frequent in meaningful contact with the other parent with the minor children. In this particular case, this, per this parent is not helping to facilitate frequent meaningful contact with the minor children. What this particular parent is, is attempting to do is dictate when custody or visitation can be had and who the visitation custody can be had with and the date and the time. Well, that's unacceptable on its face because according to this particular question, there has been nothing ordered by the court that would indicate that this particular person is under supervised custody. So what you want to do in this particular case is file a motion with the court, um, depending upon what stage that you're in and 
your uh, divorce dissolution case, you may file what's called a PDL motion, 